So question 4.2. One of the most important decisions. 4.2. One of the most important decisions that the shareholders have to make at the annual general meeting is to appoint directors to serve on the board. Explain why the shareholders have been given this responsibility. Why the shareholders have been given this responsibility. The answer to this one is straightforward. The shareholders need to appoint the directors because in the company there is separation. There is separation of ownership from control. There is separation of ownership from control. Shareholders own the company. Own the company. And directors control it. So therefore it is important. Explain why the shareholders have been given this responsibility. So it is important. The shareholders they need to understand that as they are owning the company, but they do not have direct control over the business. The business must be controlled by the directors. And therefore it is important that in the annual general meeting they should appoint the directors. If you were a shareholder, what factors or characteristics would you want to find out about the directors? who would get your vote explain two points and give a reason for each if you were a shareholder what factors or characteristics would you want to find out about the directors who would get your vote so that's for that's for that's that's point a and this is point b so let us look at the factors what factors or characteristics the characteristics and the reason with what characteristics we will want our directors to possess then let's just start with the first one honesty The directors, it must be, director must be honest and possess sound. The director must be honest and possess sound work ethics. And the reason for that, why do, are we looking for a person who is honest, who has got sound work ethics? It's because we want to to minimize corruption in the company. We want an honest person and who possesses sound work ethics. That's what we will be looking at, the, a person who is honest and who possesses sound work ethics. And the reason for that, we want to minimize corruption in the company. If we want to do away, you minimize or we eliminate its fraud. So that is why we are looking for a person who is honest. Another thing that we may also look for is that this person should have good qualifications.
person needs to have good qualifications which are relevant to the requirements of the job so that's another characteristic that we'll be looking at when we are appointing uh, the directors that the person needs to have good qualifications which are relevant to the requirements of the job and the reason why are we looking for good qualification so that we know we are appointing so that we know we are appointing the relevant so that we know we are appointing the relevant person with the necessary expertise There may be so many characteristics that you may be looking at when you are appointing the directors, but this question only required us to provide any two. So you may also, as a student, come up with other things that you will be looking at when you are appointing a director or things that you will consider before giving a vote to that particular director. But the ones that I've come up with is that as for me, I will make sure that the director that is appointed must be an honest person and it should be a person who possesses sound work ethics. And the reason for that, we want to minimize corruption and we want to make sure that we eliminate fraud. Character, another characteristic will be good qualifications, which are all relevant to the requirements of the job so that we know we are appointing the relevant person with the necessary expertise.